than in the boardroom, but we like to start with hacker experience. And really the idea is we bring in you know, industry people, customers, dealers, companies that we're working with in the area, we like to talk a little bit about Packar. So the first, we like to just quickly walk through a history of Packar, know a little bit about our heritage, uh, the truck divisions, major things that happen with the company, and then that leads over to some of our existing products. So of course we have the 579 Ultra Loft, and as we move back through, David will actually do the demo here and we come back around. But other than the Ultra Lock, we may have other development vehicles like the Peterbilt Wave Truck, which actually sat in this spot for, uh, for the first six months or so of the office. We also like to point out some of the other existing products that we manufacture today within Packard. So the MX-13 engine, obviously installed about half the trucks we produce today, as well as our front axle. And as I mentioned during my presentation, a few of the technologies that we're looking at within the Innovation Center deals with 3D printing. So we actually have a printer over here that's banging out some parts. Uh, but more in particular, some things that we're looking at for uh, some high quality 3D printed parts that we're looking at where we can run low volume production. So if we have a special customer request and we want to run a small volume of parts. Or second, if we have some older truck models that we want to provide some service tooling parts for. So maybe that existing tool is no longer available. We can now print parts. So it's a technology that you know, really gives us uh, a tremendous capability and something that we're looking at within uh, the Innovation Center today. So, so with that, also, that's also going on in Mount Vernon. Correct. Yeah, Mount Vernon has some 3D printing capability as well. We also just invested in a metal 3D printer up at Mount Vernon. So that also gives us a whole nother tool for our toolbox. But are, are you just using it for prototyping now or is there a production part? That today we're using it for prototyping and for our development vehicles here at the office but we're working through some proof of concepts with the truck divisions as well as with Packer Parts to potentially roll this out into production. So some different technologies that we're looking at. And really that what's great about it now is there's companies that have uh, a 3D printing part, 3D printed part that has the same A surface quality as an injection molded part. So you can actually put it right into a truck and it looks just like it was injection molded. So it gives us some uh, tremendous capability if we decide that we want to potentially use it for production. So pretty cool stuff. If you want to follow me this direction, I'll just point out a few of the collab rooms. This is one in particular, Studio 1277, which is just a connected room. We talked at the beginning a little bit about you know, the kind of the Silicon Valley feel. Of course, you know, a lot of open, kind of openness feel, whiteboards, uh, connected rooms are really kind of fosters creative thinking when we have groups come in or companies that we're working with. We've already been through the boardroom, back in this area of the office. So first the wave truck, which obviously many of you have already jumped into it. But that was in Mid-America a few years ago, and of course it's a joint program that we worked with Walmart on, and obviously gets a lot of attention when we bring people through the office to be able to jump in and check out the design. Really cool truck. But back in this area I mentioned is our presentation hall. So part of being in Silicon Valley is to have that space where we can host industry meetups or other events, and this gives us that capability where we can host you know, 100 people or so in this area. And uh, during our open house we had over 150 people in this area and had Kyle Quinn, obviously former general manager of Peterbilt, our now new CTO, Packer came in and was one of our speakers. So really a, a great space that we'll continue to utilize back here. You want to follow me back around the corner into our truck lab. 